And a lot of you guys that are always in my comment section, let me just address that right now. I see you guys. You guys that talk to me, y'all are like my real true life only friends. What's up and welcome to today's vlog. <laughs> Happy day 19 of VEDA. I can't even believe we're already on day 19. This is crazy. Just every day it keeps getting crazier and crazier. But happy day 19 of VEDA. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are all having a great day, getting ready for your weekend. So in one of the last videos, I was sharing with you guys how on Tuesdays I tend to take pictures for social media, for YouTube thumbnails, for all the different stuff that I think I'm gonna use pictures for for the week. I try to take them on Tuesdays. And then I showed you guys how I edit my videos when I'm working with an iPhone. Um, disclaimer right now, I'm sorry if it sounds really loud. I'm sitting in my garage in my little makeshift uh, filming spot and um, and I think school's getting out and so like an abundance of cars just decided to go by right now. But anyways, so basically today what I wanted to share with you guys is one app that I think that every YouTuber must have or should have. Let me not say must. Every YouTuber should have, and this is just my opinion. You guys have been kind of asking me a lot of questions on the YouTube front, and so I wanted to address this because I feel like why not share the love? There's enough love in the sea for all of us to have here on YouTube. So I'm basically just gonna share with you guys how I use them, especially because you guys are my favorite friends. Like, to be perfectly honest, you guys are my only friends. <laughs> You are. And a lot of you guys that are always in my comment section, let me just address that right now. I see you guys, like literally you guys that talk to me, y'all are like my real true live only friends. We're just gonna move on. Anyways, what am I trying to say? I also got a question a few days ago about how I create my thumbnail pictures too. So I'm gonna share all of that with you guys in today's video. So let's jump right in to it. So the next app in my boss biz section that is a must, and this is how I do my thumbnails, you guys have been asking, is on Canva. Okay, so for how I do my thumbnails, I use an app which I think that every YouTuber should have. If you do not have this app on your phone and you are making YouTube thumbnails, you are making Instagram pictures, you are advertising something on Facebook or a blog or really anywhere, you should definitely have this app and that is the Canva app. So to make my thumbnails, I'm going to open up Canva. Basically, Canva has all of these pre-made templates that you can pretty much use, and all you have to do is plug in the type of wording that you want to put right here. So you can get a little bit more advanced than that, but they have a ton of different stuff on here. Up at the top of the app, you can see there's a space for your designs, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook covers, you've got your Snapchat filters, your Instagram stories, you can build logos, you have posters, flyers, invitations, cards, Pinterest, and then blog graphics. And what's really great is when you get over here, you have your Twitter headers, your YouTube art, your presentations, and so on. So of course, for the sake of creating a YouTube thumbnail, we're gonna go to YouTube art. And so as you can see, there's already a ton of pre-made YouTube templates. It's already in the correct sizing that you need. So all you really need to do is plug something in. There's a ton of free ones on here and then you get down into some of the ones that have these little coins next to them and they all pretty much say like one coin. Um, I don't really know what the price of them are because I've never looked. There's so many free templates to be honest. I don't really understand why you would pay for one unless there's a super specific look that you're going for. Well, I'm just gonna put in this picture of the computer again. This is the same one I used for my, um, how I film and edit on an iPhone. So I'm gonna just use the same one. So I'm gonna come in right here and I'm going to change this out that says faux marble countertops. And we're just gonna change that to say, um, how I, or a capital I, I edit. I'm gonna put done. And I'm gonna bring this down here just a little bit so you can see it. And so I usually just kind of play with where it's at, play with the positioning. I think I'm actually gonna toss that up there because there's a lot of blank space and you can see it really clearly down here. It look, it gets kind of jumbly. So then these words down here, I'm just gonna double tap that. And I'm going to go to Y and then YouTube. 
thumbnails. And okay, so I'm gonna hit done. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so that it drops thumbnails down to the other part. And then I'm gonna move it <clears throat> right there. So this is how I edit my YouTube thumbnails. Um, and I think I'm gonna put how I create. how I create my YouTube thumbnails. And then I'm just gonna hit done. So honestly, this picture to me is already ready to go. The picture was a stock picture, so it was already available inside of the search. Um, it's pretty clean, everything is good. How I create my YouTube thumbnails. So I'm going to hit share. And so what share is gonna do is it's gonna prep it and it's gonna do its little thing here. And so now that it's done, it's going to ask me what do I want to do with this photo. And so for the sake of my thumbnail, I'm going to save it to my camera roll. And really, that's all there is to it. It should be right here in my photos, which it is right down here at the bottom. And so now I have my picture. So at this point, I can do whatever I want to do with this. It's perfectly sized to fit YouTube. And that's it, guys. That's how I create my thumbnails using the app Canva. Before I was using Canva, I was also using PicMonkey. And this is another one that you can also use to make thumbnails as well. Really super easy. So this one will take you directly to your photos. So for the sake of this, we're just going to click on this one. And then down here you have a ton of editing tools to kind of at your leisure do what you want to do. So if I was going to add the same thing here, I would put. And then you can move this around wherever you want to put it. So the selection of fonts here on PicMonkey is not as large as it is on the Canva app, but you can play with and sort of change the fonts on here as well. Okay, so if I were doing this on PicMonkey, probably I would be satisfied with something like that. And then you're just gonna check mark up here that you're done, save it, save it to your camera roll, and boom, that's that. That's it, super simple, super easy way to create thumbnails in both Canva and PicMonkey. Guys, that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for joining me if you are new welcome my name is Addie you caught us right in the middle of Veda where a video is going live on this channel every single day so be sure to come back often if you like what you see I would love to welcome you to our growing fam you can hit that subscribe button if you feel like it <laughs> As for everybody, don't forget to turn on the bell so that you guys receive notifications when all of the new videos go up and I will see I need a mic, probably. <laughs> let me know how you are enjoying Veda. We're 19 days in now, so let me know how you guys are enjoying. And if you've still been here through every single video, why don't today we leave a flower emoji in the comment section? So if you've watched every single video for the last 19 days, drop a flower emoji in the comment section. Um, I think that will be fun because I'm so easily entertained. Alrighty guys, I will see you over on my Insta stories if you're following me on Instagram, and if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Damn. Love and lust. Damn. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody, no one.